Hey everyone, welcome back. This is not my usual video. It's uh, a lot more simple than I expected. Actually, there was more to this build planned, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Though the fundamental principles still hold, this build idea is not mine alone. I'm building upon a concept that was introduced to me once again by Azim, aka Kitten Tamer. He told me that, according to some tests done by Darth Muffin, using mind control on a thrall will make it immortal, and thus you no longer have to worry about killing it. It will continue to thrall enemies for you repeatedly, letting you reliably get a massive buff from thrall packed at all times. An augment for Revenant's first ability, Enthrall, that increases your primary weapon base damage by 25% per thrall. This 25% scales with strength, so the question really becomes, how high can we push it? And especially in an era where weapon arcanes are still bugged, due to the ever-popular and now-known stack decay bug, using Revenant this way will ensure your favorite Abrama always has a lot of base damage, even if the weapon arcanes aren't working properly. I would still advise equipping these arcanes though, because Merciless still grants reload speed, which affects Brahma's delay before you're allowed to notch another arrow, or Deadhead because the headshot multiplier still applies. If you don't know how to consistently headshot with Brahma, I'd advise you to check out this Brahma secret video I made over 9 months ago. And yes, for once I'm actually using the Brahma instead of memeing it as a sprint speed amalgamod stat stick. There's actually a reason for this. You need a weapon strong enough to nuke enemies, because the only problem with Thrall Pack normally is if you kill enemies too fast, you are very likely to also kill all your own Thralls. So for slower or weaker weapons, there's no need to make one of your Thralls invincible. This build is also not intended to be used with Reeve spam, because 1. Building Reeve into this kit is actually kind of annoying to use while still having sky-high strength to feel your weapon. Two. Why even bother using Thrall Pact if you're gonna spam Reeve? You can just use the base ability. 3. There are a million Reeve builds already, I don't want to make another one. I even made one for Garuda when her prime came out. Actually, that Garuda video has 7 different builds, so go check that out if you're interested in playing her. Now, why did I choose to upload a Brahma Revenant video? Well, originally we wanted to actually use that mind-controlled enemy to kill for us. I even ran it with a Mind Freak Augment for even more Spectre TPS, Theorem Infection, and Residual Arcanes on a kit gun to give it heat. The problem is, no matter how high you pump the damage on a Spectre, them being just a single ally and a stupid AI completely eclipses the amount of damage you can make them do. I can actually make it one-shot enemies even on base steel path, but a non-Excalibur Umbra or Wukloner Metamorphosis Equinox Spectre has really, really bad AI, and alone they do a horrible job of actually getting good KPM. If I could make an army of them though, like I did in my recent Necros build, then it would work, as you saw there. And I wouldn't even need to hit them as hard as the absurd amount of buffs I tried piling on this mind control thrall. But alas, standard Spectre AI sucks, and it just doesn't work. So we're stuck with just half the build concept, an infinite thrall generator to buff your Brahma. There are a few interesting things you can still do with this build though. The peak buff from Thrall Pact on this setup is 696% base damage. It's honestly quite easy to set up and gives nearly twice the base damage scaling of Weapon Arcanes. You basically have a budget Vex Armor from Chroma, except with all of the benefits of Revenant's own kit. This allows you to save slots on Brahma, as you can see here. We have two versions today, but what you may notice is neither of them have Amalgam Serration. Usually you wouldn't equip Serration anyways on a min-max Brahma, but that's because you'd be relying on the Weapon Arcanes. Yet, those are bugged. But because Thrall Pack's base damage is so massive, then it basically does the same thing so we can now skip Serration on the build again. This is actually the Red Crit Brahma raw and damage build I showcased in the old Brahma video from 9 months ago. This is a Brahma spam build with minimal ability casting, so you should be able to reliably upkeep the Galvanized Scope stacks. They expire all at once and thus are not subject to the stack decay bug. Galvanized Chamber, on the other hand, does have this bug. But with each stack that lasts 20 seconds and spamming your Brahma everywhere, you really shouldn't ever be losing stacks on this to start with. I'm actually not using Arcane Acceleration on Revenant, so both Brahma builds today must use Vile Acceleration if you want the build to stay comfy. Besides, Fire Rate mods double dip for bows for twice the effects. This also means we can slot Critical Delay. To guarantee crits even without Galvanized Scope active, we will be above 100% crit chance. Typical Vital Sense crit damage scaling mod, and now this is a Toxin Progenitor Brahma, so Stormbringer alone allows you to get corrosive damage. I'm not running Deadhead because while the AoE of Brahma can trigger Galvanized Scope, it cannot trigger Deadhead. I don't know why, but they use different headshot requirement code. 
Prime Firestorm is obvious for bigger AoE to 13.78 meters and a primed Bane, which only single dips on raw damage builds, but is still in best in slot. If you don't want to run this, I guess you can slot Amalgam Serration again for sprint speed utility, because the base damage it gives will be super diluted by Thrall Pact, or you could take Hammer Shot for more crit damage and some bonus corrosive status procs. And no, for the last time, Gun Seal does not work on the AoE of Brahma. Vigilante Supplies, though, is mandatory for the ammo conversion, so Brahma can self-sustain. Now, how about the second Brahma build? This is the infinite scaling slash version. There's very little that changes. Essentially, we dropped Electric Mud for Prime Cryo Rounds instead to make viral because slash builds cannot headshot kill. So we dropped Galvanized Scope for Hunter Munitions. You're still above 100% crit, so it's straight up 30% of all shots you fire will proc slash. We don't use the 60-60 cold mod because the status bonus is negligible compared to running the primed cold mod for much higher cold weight. And the big raw viral damage will also kill fodder units more easily without having to rely on slash compared to using the 60-60 cold mod, which results in small PP raw viral damage against fodder. Besides that, everything is the same. Still prime firestorm for bonus range, extra fire rate, critical delay for guaranteed crit since we have the bonus fire rate, crit damage scaling, galvanized multi-shot, which should never lose stacks on Brahma, but most importantly, our Prime to Bane. This is a dot build, meaning Prime Banes will double dip, so instead of multiplying your total damage by 1.55, this Prime Bane will boost your bleeds by 2.4 times and ends up being actually one of the strongest mods on the build. So don't skip it. It makes a massive difference for endurance scaling. All what's left? Just the Revenant build and support. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever built a Revenant. I'm still surprised by how many bonus slots he has, and that resulted in a fair amount of quality of life elements. Such as Preparation, which normally would never find its way on a build that is also meant for Endurance since you can just pad, or Energize, or just wait. But Revenant has so many slots spare, I might as well use it. He doesn't need Prime Sure Footed because Mesmer Skin gives him status immunity and anti nox which honestly I didn't know beforehand. For some reason, this isn't listed in the Arsenal tooltips or ability hover, or even on the wiki. But apparently it's common enough knowledge. Today I learned. Anyways, we're just trying to pile on as much duration and strength as possible for Thrall Pack scaling. Strength also determines how many Mesmer skin stacks we get, so this is even better. In fact, I'm actually running Molt Augmented with Matterai Focus School. On a Brahma setup, getting 250 kills to max Molt Augmented is honestly a joke, and Matterai grants 40% extra strength for 20 seconds after chaining Void Slings. Transference also grants you Natural Talent through Power Transfer for 20 seconds, so we don't need Natural Talent on the build, and we also get Uber Strong Thrall Pact buff scaling, and a ton of extra Mesmer stacks, a 398% strength build, in fact, and Thrall Pact snapshots on cast, so it doesn't even matter if your Sling Strength 40% buff drops later onwards. 398% strength means 24 Mesmer skin stacks, and 99.5% base damage per Thrall, which is capped to 7 for 6 696% base damage. The build has shit range, so don't use Reeve as you'll barely hit anything and it's expensive to cast. Rolling Guard is only a bonus here for when your Mesmer breaks, allowing you to recast it since Mesmer is a slow animation ability that only grants you Mesmer snacks at the end. Also, it's just useful in general for endurance content, especially against Xmas units that can wipe Mesmer stacks quickly. Enemy Radar, since we don't need Brief Respite on Revenant, and Brahma does more than enough damage with Corrosive on Base Steel Path and ignores armor with Slash and Endurance. Seeing where enemies spawn equals kill enemies faster. Molt Efficiency is our second arcane that grants us extra duration so long as we have shields, which allows Mind Control and Enthrall to last longer. With Mesmer Skin, this should be easy. And Equilibrium. Also make sure to put Augur Mods on your pistol stat stick so you get some shields back when you cast Mesmer Skin. Now, that Equilibrium has a synergy with our Panzer. We have Viral Quills, which spreads naturally across the entire room like Saren's Spores. Anything tagged by Viral Quills counts as Pet Assists, which easily triggers Synth Deconstruct for a near-endless supply of Health Orbs. You can pick up Health Orbs even at full HP if you have Synth Fiber equipped, and Equilibrium turns this all into energy. With how little we cast abilities on this Revenant loadout, this passive energy gain should be enough. Rotation? Pick any enemy that shoots a lot. Doesn't need to be a rare heavy units or fat AoE monster. Literally anything that shoots a lot works. Grenier Lancers with their burst rifle Hinds, or the yellow Grenier fodder units with a Sobek shotgun. These are more than enough to keep your thralls near max at all times, even if you spam your Brahma all over the place. Essentially, you can enthrall enemies during the 4 seconds window you cast Mind Control. 
This makes them completely invisible for the duration of mind control so that your Brahma doesn't kill them. That's it, nothing else to it. If you want to deactivate mind control early, just hold the ability down and there you go, the infinite thrall bump generator and a revenant Brahma. I guess you can consider my quota fulfilled and you probably won't actually see a Brahma being used for DPS in my videos until another half a year from now or so, as the last time I used it was in that red crit Brahma secret video. Also, thank you again as a man Darth Muffin for the original idea. Cheers, I hope you enjoy it. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed, I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible, like I'm done with covering the new Echoes of Zeraman update. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. Don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.